In this video, I'll guide you through setting up Apple Intelligence writing tools on Mac OS with your preferred knowledge management app, such as Heptabase, Notion, Obsidian, or many others that I haven't personally tested. If you are solely interested in step-by-step -step guide, feel free to skip to the Apple Intelligence writing tools setup guide section on the video. Let's get started. Apple Intelligence is Apple version of AI. It offers writing tools powered by Apple Intelligence to Mac users with supported models. These tools can proofread, rewrite, summarize, and compose text. They are integrated into most selectable text areas across applications and websites. In many situations, accessing them is simple. Select your text, right-click, and choose writing tools from the context menu. The integration and enhancement of AI in PKM apps are captivating topics that are constantly evolving. However, when it comes to specific features offered by Apple Intelligence, it has the potential areas that could surpass some alternative AIs. The first significant advantage for many users is that if their device and language support Apple Intelligence, they have access to a free AI tool. Apple Intelligence offers more than basic spell check features. It provides advanced grammar corrections, enabling users to write clearer, more professional notes. This level of correction helps improve the quality of personal knowledge management content significantly. Apple Intelligence aids in summarizing both external resource materials and your own notes. This helps users digest information quickly and maintain concise, organized knowledge databases. Apple Intelligence prioritizes user privacy. Whenever possible, AI processes data locally on your device. If cloud-based processing is needed, Apple ensures that your data is neither stored nor shared, not even with Apple themselves. This robust privacy framework makes it a trustworthy tool for sensitive PKM data. While it's possible for tech savvy individual to set up their own local AI, this requires technical knowledge and even with such setup, you might still not be able to use that particular AI directly within your favorite PKM app. On the other hand, setting Apple Intelligence is incredibly straightforward. It can be enabled with a simple toggle in the settings of the supported devices, eliminating the need for technical expertise. This ease of activation ensures that users can begin enhancing their personal knowledge management experience without a hassle of complex configurations. Once you have a writing tool set up with the shortcut key as explained in this video later, you can use it without leaving your favorite app. For users who need additional AI capabilities, specifically if you want the AI to generate content, the option to integrate ChatGPT is available. This feature is initially disabled and requires user activation. Additionally, enhanced data protections are implemented when using ChatGPT, offering an extra layer of security. So, will it work on my PKM? While this list is far from exhaustive, every personal knowledge management app I've tested has worked with Apple Intelligence writing tools. Therefore, even if an app I haven't tested is likely compatible. In the step-by-step -step guide section, we'll discuss how to determine if your personal knowledge management app is compatible with Apple Intelligence. So now let me show you step-by-step -step how I got it to work. The first step is to enable Apple Intelligence. As of today, it's still a beta feature and available only in certain languages. First, ensure you have the latest version of Mac OS installed. Open System Settings. Select Apple Intelligence and Siri from the left menu. Enable Apple Intelligence. To enable the optional seamless ChatGPT feature, which is necessary to use the Compose part of the Writing Tools feature, Navigate to the extensions and click on ChatGPT, then toggle on that option. You can also enable this feature later. 
If you've decided to enable ChatGPT extension but want to have a control over what data is sent to them, keep Confirm ChatGPT Requests toggle on so you'll be prompted before any data is sent to ChatGPT. Some apps, such as Bear and Craft, have the option to access Apple Intelligence writing tools from the right-click menu. However, all other apps I tested did not display writing tools in this manner. If your app falls into this category, you can navigate to the top system menu and check under the edit option. If the writing tool is available in this location, your app is compatible with Apple Intelligence writing tools. If your app is not listed here, please share it in the comment the name of the app and its compatibility with Apple Intelligence writing tools for the future viewers. Next, I'd like to create a keyboard shortcut for accessing writing tools. This is particularly useful if your preferred PKM app doesn't provide direct access to the Apple Intelligence writing tools through the right mouse click. In such cases, you're forced to drag your mouse to the top editing menu every time, which can be a significant friction point in your workflow. First, go to System Settings, Keyboard. Click Keyboard Shortcuts. Go down to App Shortcuts on the left navigation and click plus to add new entry. On this pop-up, we first select the target app, which can be a specific app or all applications. Since I've been testing multiple PKM apps, and this can also be useful in other non-PKM apps such as Preview, I ended up choosing all applications. In the menu title section, we must input exact menu titles and use the dash greater than symbol to indicate some menus. It's important to note that this is case sensitive and there should be no space between the arrow and the menu titles. For instance, in this example, I wrote down so I get the access to short writing tools to provide an equivalent function to the right mouse click. However, if you want to specify a specific action like rewrite, you can do so. Lastly, choose your own keyboard shortcut. However, it's important to note that in-app shortcuts take precedence. Therefore, this shortcut won't work on apps that already have the same in-app shortcut. So make sure to check if your favorite personal knowledge management app already has a key sh shortcut. I chose Control w as my shortcut. Now hit Done. Now you should be able to access the writing tool from your preferred app. To test it on your preferred personal knowledge management app, highlight some text in your notes and press the keyboard shortcut. The writing tools should appear. It's worth noting that this won't work if you haven't selected text in many applications. One current limitation I've noticed is that the replace or insert function doesn't work. Consequently, you have to select copy and then paste the content. The issue here is likely related to Electron, a coding platform commonly used to develop many PKM apps. Therefore, I hope that once they address this issue, we'll have the one fewer keyboard click. That's all for today. Enjoy the power of Apple Intelligence combined with your favorite personal knowledge management app. If you've discovered a great workflow using these two combinations, please share in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.